This is a small log mill, that's what you get. Just slides down onto the bar, and you can come around, come around here, Toby. I need to film this doing up the nuts on it, you see. Just tighten up these nuts. They'll actually, they actually bite into the bar, and that's what actually grips it, keeps it, keeps it solid. So I usually just keep going from one to the other. Let's get them on there nice and tight. Okay, we've set the uh, mill up for five and a half inches. All I've done here is put a six by two on the top of the log. Underneath, it doesn't matter if there's a gap too much or anything like that, as long as you start off from this, this near side here. down to one of one and a quarter inches So the maximum bar length is 20 inches, that's the maximum bar length you can use with the small log mill. Otherwise you start getting separation between the, the tip of the bar and the chainsaw. my finger tape. Okay. So you can do it with normal cross cut chisel chain but you do get a more uneven cut but it will still rip timber fine. Ripping chain will be smoother and a little bit faster than that.
another difference I find with uh, using ripping chain is that if you can see how much I slowed down towards the end because uh, normal cross cut rip it, uh, chisel chain seems to lose its edge quite quickly whereas correctly sharpened ripping chain will uh, keep its edge a lot lot longer but you have to have the depth gauges set correctly as well for that.